Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide I'm going to show you exactly where you can hunt Volcarona in a max raid den within the Isle of Armour. <laughs> So now with the rules updating on July the 1st to Series 5, we're going to be able to use and have available to us all of the new Pokemon in the Isle of Armor. They will be legal to use on ranked battles online. So it's a good time leading up to that date right now with about two weeks to go to start preparing your teams, catching Pokemon and getting your teams put together ready for when these rules do drop. So in today's episode, we're going to show you where to get Volcarona. It's going to be one of probably the better competitive Pokemon that we're going to have access to in this Series 5 rules. It is another redirection user with access to Rage Powder. It does get some very nice boosting moves as well, obviously Quiver Dance there, and it'll be a very strong Pokemon to put in anyone's team, and I, I feel like it's going to be a very good Pokemon in general in the format. So jumping into the game so jumping into the game we are outside the dojo it's a good marker for you guys to follow along from to get to this den but it's not going to be that difficult because all we need to do is literally take a left and uh, we can just hop on our bike make it a little bit even quicker and just ride up this hill here and this is literally the den that you want to be hunting Volcarona from so we'll just pan around so you guys can see where the den is situated exactly Volcarona appears in a few dens throughout the Isle of Armour but this is the probably the easiest one to get to so why I'm using it in this guide all we need to do is uh, drop a wishing piece into it and we only need a red beam so we don't need the rare purple beam just a red beam that is all we require the only drawback with this is obviously the promoted dens are running at the minute so uh, it's quite likely that you're either going to get a zero aura from one of these red beams or one of the gigantamax pokemon from the red beam as well so if you get those all you need to do is yeah as you can see i can actually show you right now because we've just got the zero aura here so what you need to do and just to reset this den it's a little bit frustrating normally i'm quite excited when i get a promoted raid den but at the minute with uh, the Isle of Armor being so new and hunting all these new Pokemon I kind of just want the Pokemon that are in the dens so just come to another den there's a close one right by that we're using here just drop another wishing piece in and that will reset the one that we've just dropped allowing us to go back to it and drop another wishing piece so we can just head back up there and hopefully this time when we drop a wishing piece into the den we do get the beam for the Pokemon that are located in this den. Like I say, it's just a red beam that we need, not the rarer one. So we'll just throw another wishing piece in and there we go. And it's Volcarona as well. So five star Volcarona, that's ideal for us. Get yourself a rock type because obviously with the bug and the fire, it is going to be four times a week to that. It'll just make it a little bit easier for you to get this Volcarona and um, we can hop in. If you don't get Volcarona on your first try going to the den, you can use the date skip glitch uh, where you invite others, then go to your home menu, down to system settings, then into date and time. Change the date forward one day. Make sure you're not uh, synced up with the internet in that setting page um, and then come back into the game. Quit out of that den and go back into it. The Pokemon will have changed because you're tricking the game into thinking 24 hours has passed and you just repeat that process until you actually bump into Volcarona or the Pokemon that you are hunting and that method can be applied to any den in the wild area. Just make sure if you are doing it not to be online so you're not disrupting other players games you don't need to be online to do it just to reiterate that point and I'm pretty sure most of you that are well into Sword and Shield already are aware of this technique for the this is more for those of you that are kind of new to hunting in dens and things like that and it's just a nice reminder as well of how to cycle through and get the pokemon that you're actually wanting so we will be right back when we have caught hopefully this volcarona so as you can see, we've eventually beaten this Volcarona. We just need to catch it now. Obviously, if you've already got it in your Pokedex and registered, a Repeat Ball is going to be your best chance. After that, it's going to be a Dusk Ball. Um, but they both come after Master Ball. But you probably don't want to be wasting your Master Ball on a Volcarona. Um, these are the two balls that are going to give you the best shot of obtaining this Pokemon. So, one. Come on. Come on. Two. 
and three so just to make you aware as well in the five star raids for this den you can actually obtain volcarona's hidden ability which is swarm um but it's not the best of the two abilities flame body it's regular ability going to be the better one to get here get a bunch of fire type trs big nugget armor i o and some x well some experience candy so that's always good and we can take a look at the summary screen as you can see there is a Volcarona, it has got flame body so that is the ideal ability. Just ready to hyper train and mint up and then we've got a Volcarona. So that about wraps it up for us my friends. I hope you found the guide useful. If you have as always please drop a like onto the video. If you're new to the channel do subscribe because we cover lots of different content on the channel all related to Pokemon. Pokemon guides, Pokemon news, Pokemon competitive play all sorts and you, we always have a good time doing it so join the family and uh, to remind you guys i do stream three times a week over on twitch on a monday wednesday friday so come over join us and uh, we have a lot of fun and doing again all sorts of different pokemon shenanigans so i'm gonna leave it there my friends have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves be kind to each other and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye